Hey everybody, this is Scott and Ariane from This Nomadic Idea. Our YouTube channel is all about living full time in our 1976 vintage Airstream, traveling all over the country and going backpacking. And this video in particular is all about our tow vehicle. Our 1999 Ford E350 7.3 liter diesel van that we have completely redone for the second time and made it into a backpacking van because guess what? We're not going to be pulling the Airstream all the time and the Airstream certainly can hit some of the trailheads that we want to go to. So in that case, our backpacking van will be our nomadic vehicle. So today is really kind of like the last day of uh, our, I guess our van remodel. And I'm gonna show you some of the gadgets that we're using. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, equipment that we're using for the van build, and then kind of give you uh, not a, a final tour of it, but it's pretty close of what I did to make everything work. I'm pretty excited because we're leaving in just a few days to go on an epic backpacking trip for an entire month in September up in the UP of Michigan where it's a whole lot cooler than it is here in Atlanta and there's I'm almost absolutely positive we don't have to worry about a hurricane. So let's talk power. I have 200 watts of solar panels on top of the van. I'm going to hook that up into a 30 amp solar charge controller and a 100 amp hour AGM battery. Now I bought this battery, you've seen it uh, around, it's uh, not that expensive, it's about $193 for one 12 volt 100 amp battery, which is more than enough for our van. It also acts as kind of a backup, so if you add those two to together, we'll have over 500 amp hours of battery life between the van and the Airstream and have over 600 watts of solar. So this is uh, my AGM uh, 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. Uh, it, I just put it underneath the bed right there. It is a lead sealed battery, but because it's sealed, uh, I don't have to worry about any gases or anything like that. So all the wires then come up behind here and this is really the control panel of everything in here. So I've got my cutoff switch, which is on right now. I've got my fuse box. This is my 1500 watt inverter. Uh, I've got plugged in. I've got some LED lights in the cabinet so I can see what I'm doing. But a very, very simple install. And of course, that then runs into my solar charger, which is um, charging right now. So uh, I've got to clean the solar panels off. But this is exactly, you can see that. Uh, that is a blue sky uh, solar charger it's a 30 amp solar charger and uh, these are, are my 12 volt outlets and i'm going to show you why these are so important i love these things um, i can't get enough of them really you, i buy these at uh, a marine store uh, i've got this uh, i buy these at west marine so ikea makes a just a regular usb light so i stick a uh, 12 volt plug in here with two USB slots in here and I get 12 volt and I get a lot of lighting in here I can also plug in my fan I can plug in my laptop I can plug in a lot of different things just in these two I also have one in the back of the van I'm going to show you in a minute um, and then this is my light switch um, I like I just switched this on and all the cabinet lights come on underneath so at night if something goes wrong I can see what I'm doing and this is my WeBoost. This is the drive WeBoost uh, that I'm gonna show you and talk to you a lot about, but this is gonna be right here because my laptop, and if I have to work or watch a movie or whatever I would do, cause I watched a lot of movies when I was in the Southwest in January. I just put my laptop on here. I can plug my 12 volt uh, laptop cord in here to power my laptop. And then I just connect. I've got the Verizon Unlimited plan for $65 a month. And I mean, I love it. And so I just Wi-Fi it to here. This is the cradle, the antennas over there, and then the, the antennas up on top of the, of the van. So it's a very simple setup. So you can see I've got my 12 volt 
uh, lighter here or plug um, that'll extend out to here in case I want to plug anything out here I've also got my light or my switch for my 12 volt pump my 12 volt pump is back in here this is my seven gallon water tank this will be the auxiliary tank for the Airstream now what's so cool about this is that I've got an adapter right here that I made uh, because when you stick this hose in these tanks they curl up and the water doesn't never pumps out correctly so I just went to Home Depot and I just made myself a little bit of a pipe extender so this is just a straight pipe just fits in there I bought this adapter and I can unscrew this and I can actually fill this right from the garden hose which I'm gonna do right now so this is one seven gallon tank this is the other seven gallon tank that's behind here so I have a total of 14 gallons of fresh water in the van so to fill my seven gallon water tank off I made a made this and then I made this this is just a regular uh, female barbed half inch connector it's a female on both sides so that way all I have to do is screw it in here that is how I fill my jug and I never have to take this jug out at all it's always in there the pump that is down there is a quick disconnect pump you can kind of see it I can quick disconnect it from here on both ends and uh, I can reverse the pump and if I have to I can pump water in the tank as much as I can pump water out of the tank so let's turn it on and see if it works All right, I hooked it back up, so it's all in the pump. It's gonna pump out here, I'm gonna hit the switch, and see if water comes out of here, and that'll be my water umbilical cord that will fit right into there. So it's working fine, I can just kind of hook this up uh, while I'm not using it, and then roll it back into the Airstream. So before Ariane and I would sleep this way across and we just didn't have any room. So now we're, we're sleeping lengthwise, but you probably would say, dude, you don't have any room. This is it. Well, this is what we did. Okay, so if you didn't catch this, this is actually how the bed is normally. This is a one person bed right here. Sleeps here, comes all the way out here and you have more than enough room. You can even sleep diagonal and uh, laptop, you can watch movies, everything that are gonna be up on the board right there. So uh, all of our outlets are here, everything's ready to go. However, when you wanna make this into a two person bed, all you do then is pull this out like this. We have a little stop right here that we put underneath just to kind of keep it more level. And then the bed, which is really our podcasting table, folds out and lands right up here. And then I take those two pillows and I just put them on the end. And that's, that's our double bed and that's how that works. Really super easy to do. And then when we want to put it away, we just push this back push that slide that back in here this is just a regular slide out we put our little balancer back there tuck that in and then that way when we're driving the dogs still have a bed to lay on and they're happy if Ariane wants to take a nap while we're towing the Airstream she can take a nap and um, it's all ready to go and, and she's fine So let's talk about the kitchen and how that works. So 
So you may be asking what these little uh, copper bars are drilled into the table. Well, I drilled them into the floor too. And so that way our dogs, when they run in the van and they will run in the van, they can't knock this table off. This is just um, a stand for the table. Uh, it works inside or outside, but basically I'm gonna be back here cooking and so I've got plenty of room to put anything I'm cooking with, food, uh, if I need a, we have a cutting board I can cut over on here and I have plenty of room to cook in this area uh, with the propane tank. I've got a large propane tank and I can the smaller canisters, that'll be fine. And of course then my water fits right under here. Of course, when we cook, we use a lot of the uh, Sea to Summit cookware. It's got the uh, titanium bottom that you can actually cook on. It's rubber, it collapses. Same thing with this. Um, they're great for traveling in because they really, really can compress small. I did a review on this um, when, we, when we were called the Backpacker TV and uh, I'm not so sure I would ever take it anywhere else but camping, but for the van life, uh, these things were great. Uh, you can't beat, um, you cannot beat these dishes for uh, a full-time vanner. So let's talk about storage and food. For non-perishable items that we are actually taking on the road, we have the sealer, a uh, piece of Tupperware, so we'll put like bagels, bread, um, anything that is non-perishable, but we're gonna eat it on our road trip. You know, it's part of our car camping, um, just to get to the trailhead or wherever that's gonna go. Usually it takes three or four days to get to where we're going. But when we're on the road, this is gonna be kind of our, uh, our uh, non-perishable uh, food storage. Our cooler is an igloo. Uh, I found this at Walmart uh, for about 80 bucks. This was a great deal. This is a 12 volt, uh, cooler and it's not a refrigerator it's a uh, it's just a cooler that can get your food down to about 35 38 degrees depending on what the ambient temperature is in your van now the cool thing about the igloo uh, is that this will draw 6.5 amps per hour and so that's gonna be more than enough to run on a hundred amp solar uh, situation I'm bringing in uh, you know maybe on a day I could bring in you know on a sunny day like this um, quite a few amps maybe you know 30 amps so this is definitely gonna uh, this can run all day and it can run on my 12 volt cigarette lighter when I'm driving and then when I'm not I will plug it in to the cigarette lighter back by the charge controller. So when I'm driving, this is on, it's not taking any charger or solar at all. So really, it I mean, you're talking about maybe six, seven, eight hours a day that this will run on solar and I'll plug it in at night. So this thing should be running all the time. Of course, there's our coffee maker, runs on 640 watts. So this will be plenty of coffee maker for 1500 watt inverter and then of course this is all of our plates pots pans everything that'll be in here coffee french press everything that's in here and then in here will be more food we'll have coffee other things snacks chips things like that we'll have on there when we're on the go <music> Thanks for watching you guys that is kind of like our van tour backpacking van camper van however you want to call it but really it's our tow vehicle for the airstream and that's the point uh this baby can tow a lot of weight every bit of ten thousand pounds that's why we got the diesel but why not make it into a backpacking van so when we 
completely detached from the Airstream and we can go boondocking or we can go to places where RVs can't, we are pimped out, ready to go. So thanks for watching you guys. Hit the subscribe button. Always hit the bell so you get notified in our next video. Ooh, it's hot. I'm going home. I'm going to the UP to cool off. We'll see you guys later. Bye.